let's uh, practice uh, objective 1.5a. We want to print only columns B and C here in Excel 2013. I'm going to click with my left mouse button and hold down the mouse button and drag to column C. So I'm clicking and holding and dragging so that both B and C are selected. Surprisingly, you can try this yourself. If you press click and then control click, even though both columns are selected, your printing might not work out so well. Give it a try. But for now, we selected both columns by clicking and dragging. I'm going to go to either File, Print, let me just press Escape, or you can more quickly press Control P. So Control P is the shortcut key to print. And what we want to do to show only columns B and C is to choose the first setting. The first setting is Print Active Sheets, which is prints out the sheet that you're currently on, that you currently see. Print Entire Workbook, which prints out all your sheets or to print selection and that's what we want. We want to only print the columns that we selected. So we're going to click on this last option here and then click on show print preview and you can see that we have the two columns that we just selected. Excellent. Now what if we also want to make the grid lines print? Grid lines are those nice lines that divide up your uh, different rows and columns into very very clear um, different uh, cells. We want to be able to see them clearly, these lines here. These lines won't print when you actually print it on paper. We want to see nice solid lines here. So we're going to go to this option. We're going to find this option called Page Setup. Click on Page Setup here. And you can find there's this Sheet tab. Click on Sheet and look for this thing called Grid Lines. So right now the grid lines is off, click on OK. You can see the print preview shows nothing. Whereas if you go to page setup, you go to the sheet tab and choose the grid lines on. And then it's going to actually print with these nice grid lines. So great job. You now know how to do these uh, tasks. So let's just take a look at these uh, print settings. We already talked about these settings here. And you can even click on pages and by default we print on one side of a sheet. If you have a nice duplexer on your printer, your printer is able to print on both sides, you can save some money on buying paper. Now I think most of you would actually print on both sides by flipping the page on the long edge. So as you turn the page on the sideways, you will be able to see, read um, text up and down. Whereas if you choose this option, print on both sides, flipping on the short edge, uh, you may feel like your text is upside down because you're flipping the page on the short side. And then this uh, option down here is all about your margins. Sometimes when you're trying to squeeze every last drop, you might want to choose narrow or perhaps you might even choose some custom margins just because maybe you want everything narrow but you want to be able to punch holes on the side so you leave at least 0.75 inches for hole punching. As for scaling, you might want to try to squeeze everything into the page, fit all, fit the sheet on one page. It can be useful.